Well, despite a convincing victory in a in a previous game of Talon Esport, I still feeling like Talon is still trying to to find their own. I mean, their effective, most effective play style. Um, uh, uh, for example, in their previous match against Team Ragdoll, the first game versus Ragdoll, they play Rush with Raid King and DP offlane by KP, and then they lost. And then the second game, they Radiant switched back. Okay, this is not working, guys. Let's go um, for some late game, which is Morphling. And they can't stand the uh, high pressures of the heroes of, of Team Ragdoll. For example, we defeated Raid King. And the and, and post for their profit. Seconds, so so I, I I feel like right now Talon is still trying to do experiment five things and then find a proper way to play. Radiant team yeah, pick. I agree. I mean they're I definitely a team contact. that with the players and roster they have they should be at the top. But the reason they're not is because Dyer they're a new team, team that pick. hasn't found a way to mm. mesh well and draft the heroes that work for them. So. It feels like they've got a few heroes that are staples, like particularly Fly's heroes and KP's heroes, they're picking yeah. the same heroes, but they haven't figured out what to have Makoto and Hyde and, and Gabby play as much. So uh, we'll see if this is the right ones. They go for Morphling and Tunka. Morphling, remaining. I've seen a lot of Morphling over the last week or 10 days or so. Basically Five since like remaining. the DPC went on break and there's been some other tournaments, Morphling has been like one of the most popular carries. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Morphling, Morphling, Morphling. Woof. Last time I see Morphling, it was the last game, but um, yeah, it's a good thing about Morphling is the uh, he, he is so stable in the mid game onwards. But um, uh, gonna need somebody to just hold it up for him. Radiant team back. Yeah, Kunga is right the there. Oh, <laughs> do you like that draft? Uh, it didn't work last game, but I, I kind of mentioned I think Drow was like their standout player. This time Drow's a bit better. Um, mm -hmm. One, you're not up against Mars. Pengalier can be a little rough, um, but I think Drow against Morphling is fine. Remaining. Like it's not like a counter necessarily, but the matchup I think is at least a Five pretty decent remaining. one in terms of being playable. So only one hero is going to get to maybe counter the, the Drow. Um, last time they picked Drow and Talon still got to pick two heroes to counter, so they picked PA right away. This time around against Morphling, um, no Mars. I think Drow is just much better this game than last. So um, if they feel like Drow is like their best carry hero for Marb, then just keep picking it, sure. Yeah, let's go. We have Mars and Dark Willow to just combination with the Arena of Blood and also throwing some Dyer some Bremer Maze, Drow Ranger shooting from outside, Split Shot, Ogre Magi, Booster Drow. Oh, yeah. seems Radiant to be a great team. plan. Yeah, it's going to be a real good game for sure. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that we are going to game number three, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you said you kind of said it could be close between these two teams. They've both yep. been struggling uh, in terms of their record, but they at the same time both teams when they remaining. do get a good draft and play well, they've taken games off top teams. So not an impossible ask. Remaining. As bad as game one looked, I think back. you can chalk it up to draft to a large extent. So okay, I got one interesting fact about Team Talent Esport that they are the team that hate mods a lot. Uh, they have a very low win rate against mods, which is around 41.65. Uh, and um, and the previous game that they play against mods was a loss game against Ragdoll. Five um, seconds hopefully they, they could come up with something, some strat to deal with these strong heroes. Man, yeah. the hero is not going anywhere since like TI-10. <laughs> It gets nerfed and people, everyone thought it was bad and then TI-10 happened and collapses like, no, Mars is still good. Because I remember talking to a lot of the players and yeah. uh, other casters um, at the start of TI-10 about, you know, what, what offline heroes are good. Because everyone was just saying, oh, Mars is bad now. Don't pick Mars. He's been nerfed too much. He's not good anymore. And yeah, it turns out the hero was still very, very <laughs> good enough to win you TI. Ten seconds yeah. remaining. What, what's the good thing about that Mars? Easy to use ultimate or? Five seconds remaining. Um, I think it just does everything. It has pickoff potential with the spear, um, has team fight with the arena. Yeah. It's a good laner. Like the second spell, um, the God's Rebuke is good just for the lane stage. You can push people away. If you're if they're trying to kill you, you push them away if they're melee heroes. Um, it team kills the range creep. Often the nice lanes stuff. are a lot about you want to secure the range creep in the lane, so Mars is good at that. Um, that's kind of, I would say that's most of it. And also the fact Spear is repositioning. Having these repositioning spells, like we saw, you know, the Magnus with Collapse, mm -hmm. all these heroes mm -hmm. that put your enemy out of position, 
are just so good in Dota. Ten yes, seconds yes. Um, people underestimate all these repositioning skills, you know. Five uh, even remaining. some some zone off skills like Bramble Maze and all this stuff, and we can see that it caused actually a lot of trouble to to the team because in Dota 2s in um, in Dota 2 maps there are so many choke points and all these areas are so good Kinker. for the arena Seems of blood. But hey, I'm kind of surprised with the last two picks from both sides. We have Night Stalker from Team Talon Esports that make it so super greedy lineup, and we have a Tinker by Yona in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh boy. Um, yeah. we're in for a treat, I guess, depending how much you like Tinker. <laughs> Um, they, I mean, they've got KP on Night Soccer, so they've got a way if KP can get like a Blink Dagger, maybe BKB2 to jump on top of the Tinker. But uh, yeah, this Tinker pick, perhaps something that will catch Talon by surprise. Um, at the same time, I, I still think it's a pretty good Morphling game, even against the Tinker. So uh, I'm excited. I think these drafts are a li little more even than what we saw in game number one. All right. Okay, it's time to go, man. We side. Which side? Yeah. I'm gonna stick with Talon because you know I just I feel like they're maybe a little better, not by much, but I think they are a little better. Yep, uh, I hate Tinga, so I'm just gonna go with the Tinga. Yeah, that's oh, all you're I gonna think. go with the Tinga. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you start. I hate Tinga. I was like, good, you're on Talon as well. But uh, no, <laughs> if you can't well... beat them, join them. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's kind of sad when you see Tinker and we don't see his babies anymore. All those much of the machine back in the old days, you know. So yeah, we'll it's not the same Tinker he once was. I mean, it's still pretty similar in some ways. You don't have to buy the boots to travel anymore. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll see. That's but you true. mentioned also the Mar the Mars. Um, that's something that Talon have struggled against. So we'll see if they've got a good way of dealing with it this game. They've got heroes like Morphling who can get out of the arena. I think that's kind of nice. I think same for Pengo. So um, Pengo being able to rolling thunder inside the Mars arena is something, a really nice mechanic and why I think we often see Pengo here picked against the Mars. Well, yep. All right. We are in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Talon Esports versus IAP in the second game of the base of three series. As I mentioned, always mentioned during the start that this is so important series for both sides, especially for Team IAP if they want to survive in their Division Two. So this second game, they need to step up. I'm gonna start with the intro. Uh, Talon on the radiant side. We have Fly on Dead Prophet, Mikoto on Kunka, KP on Night Stalker. Gabby on Morphling, but hey, some reward going on, okay, later. Uh, hi, on Pangolier, I'm gonna leave the IAP, uh, IAP side. That was unexpected. IAP, we've got Captain Kimo on Ogre, Yona playing Tinker, Matthew yep. playing Dark Willow, Marb playing Drow Ranger again, and Escod playing the Mars. Oh. He needs to play like a god this game. Yeah, he, we he saw... Yeah, something a bit less than godlike in game number one, and uh, he needs to step it up. Yeah, the, the Queen of Pain is not so big impact in the uh, in the previous game, and hopefully he can step up this time. Start from winning the lane, <laughs> or just try to draw the draw out the lane. Yeah. Oh, it was definitely yeah, a big big problem for them was how how that lane went. The Queen of Pain and the they they just weren't on the same page with how Isn't they played it. Magical, Papa? So we'll see if this one uh, is going to be any better. Yep. It seems like there's a lot of stack going on in the middle lane. Three player from both sides is trying to play some sentry wards and obstacle wards and go for the first route. You were too noisy to live. The battle Looks begins. like no big fights happening over any runes here. Chemo walking by top, but pretty standard lanes for the most part. Uh, the Pangolier does go to a support, so it's not going to be KP on Penga. He's playing Night Stalker. I think they looked at the heroes and decided it's a good Night Stalker game playing against the Drow Ranger, and then even against the Tinker, it's going to be pretty nice in the end. Um, although that pick maybe caught them by surprise. Yeah. I, I kind of like the IA pick a lot in this one. I mean, they, they have a good initiated uh, lock it down in the Arena of Blood. I can visualize all the things, you know, split shot comes up, spamming all the laser and the missile, the whole new missile. And then it's it's all good. It seems, seems to be good for Team IAP. Uh, one thing I can be sure of is they are not going to lose the, the, the mid game 
in the big team fight for sure from all these heroes. That's definitely the hope. I mean, yeah, and Mars Willow, we saw how good this combo can be last game. So if they get a good arena, and I think that means Escort needs to have a good lane, get a good timing on the blink dagger, um, this game should go a lot better. So far, though, Tinker not having the easiest time mid. Makoto doing what Kunkers often do, which is kind of trying to constantly harass and just bully the lane, oh. making his life difficult. Uh, wow. What He's a trying special. to get the Tiger in mid, but yeah. Diving in so deep. He's so special. Yep. There we go. Got yeah, the Tiger Bringer. Your Admiral is on board. All right, here we go. That time of the game that I need to be under pressure. Denied. Taking a look at all the lanes. I am trying to predict where it's going to happen. Oh. Uh. Who's it going to be? I think uh, a good chance it happens bottom. Yeah. As we're, not right now, but I think eventually. I could see either Fly or Matthew dying if they misplay. That would be my, my guess. Okay. We'll see. A good guess, I think. Well... I would guess, uh, I don't know, man. I, I feel like um, maybe mid. I mean, Mikoto loves mid? to play with a low Ooh. HP. I know he he, he tried yeah. to to seduce the, the other uh, the other lane mate. So um, probably he might make a mistake and die with a low HP because the other side is Tinker. Look at that, he's spamming all the missile. Yep. Well, he's Kunkin now. He gets the bottle though, so we're oh, gonna see yeah. both mid laners farming a lot now. They've got the bottle and refill it with the runes. It's <laughs> at least until any supports rotate. Maybe around six minutes when there's the rune. If there's no first blood before six minutes, then the the mid laners might be involved in the first blood. Well, talking about the uh, rotation, then um, which side do you think uh, better in in terms of rotation, the Ogre Magi or the uh, Pangolier? Um. Probably the Ogres is maybe one of the... I mean, neither team is great at rotating. But what they're going to do is just go in... At, when the runes come, they're going to go anyways. Even though they're not the like, ganking heroes, they just want to make sure their mid laner tries to get the rune. Um, but probably Ogres a little better, because just like a level 3 Ogre can do a lot more than a level 3 Pangolier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Selfish. Throwing some uh, Fire Blast and a Dead Knight. Uh, maximize the Ignite first. Makoto just using the X to TP back to base, so he's going to always be healed up if he wants to. Does cost him a TP, which is not cheap. Okay. Fight going on. Um, some small fights in lanes, especially on side lanes. Mid lane is still yeah, on bottom lane. Uh, bottom game. The uh, fly. Yeah, harassing a little bit, but he'll be fine. I think this lane's looking a little rough now for IEP because they, they ran out of... Re they have no Tango or Salve left. Mm. Whereas Gabby and Fly have lots of regen. So it seems like um, Talon have done better with using their regen. And Mars is going to have to get this Helm out. Uh, um, ASAP. I'm pretty sure the Escar is going to be safe from all the virus because he has a lot of glow. <laughs> Three gauntlets of strength. Keep changing during the day. I don't know what, what he's doing with the third one. What's he putting that on? <laughs> Spare one. But this is <laughs> this is the new build. I, I, I think it was actually Yatoro from yeah. uh, Team Spirit who, who started. You know, he, I know he's a carry player, but he started doing this like triple stat build. He would uh -huh. get like three soldiers oh, on. Oh, maybe. Agi carry. Oh, no. Yeah. Not yet. Oh yeah. The I'm find that first blood still. Hmm. Matthew TP. Oh, and first. Where blood? is that? Oh. Okay, oh. then I missed that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Twitch uh, chat, yeah. be a goldfish. Oh, they'll forget it. They'll, they'll forget it in, uh, you know, seven minutes time. Pete Kibbles, man. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, um, sometimes things just come when we were unexpected. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, I thought it's going to be safe on top. You know, it's going to be a friendly match, but then Radiance somebody died. I must have been a little bit too offside, I would get. I would tell you, but I also missed it, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm in the same boat as you. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah. First one of the year. Yeah. Okay. Five and a half minutes, ladies and gentlemen, leading on the network is Kunka. Okay, he's doing uh, pretty fine once again for Mikoto. Mm. Oh, diving in, in the top lane, KB going super aggro. 
has been killed. And uh, some Korea being killed at the bomb lane, and Mikoto takes a lot of damage from the uh, missile. Yep. He's had to go for a double bracer and use this X plus TP back to base to keep mm. himself alive. So he's It's paid off. He's winning his lane. And now the six minute rune comes out. Fly has to pick up the rune, otherwise it would have gotten denied there. So Makoto doesn't get the rune like he would have liked to, but he can always X mark, TP back to base. Same for Tinker, he does the same. There is a, you know, financial cost. 100 gold teleport scroll isn't cheap necessarily. Well, for Muffling, it seems like... Oh, wait, uh, somebody teleport down the top lane, becoming three, and he's going to charge in. Aiming for that mob, draw enter first death. Becoming quite earlier than we thought. Um, yeah. We're talking about the last game, Mob Draw Enter. He died around like eight times. Such a hard game for him. This one. Oh, Mikoto found the stacks. Yeah, he would love to farm this. He's got Ghost Ship. They can't necessarily kill him unless he gets too greedy. And right now he is being a bit greedy. Mm. Yeah, he has to fall back. Mm. I think he splashed a little bit of creeps just now. Good. Yeah. See if he Tinker can farm this though. Step lively now. Looks like Your he's gonna slowly try and do it. Makoto's coming back. Yeah. He wants to finish it off. As a support player, it's so painful to watch our own stack being stolen. Oh yeah. Uh, all right. And now most, they... most of it got farmed, but Makoto's here to maybe finish it off. Oh my god. That's not looking good for Team IAP. That's gonna be a huge goalie for Mikoto. And now Fly, level 4, start to just suck that map fill. He's getting to the tree line and using some Bremberman to sew somebody off. Is Mikoto slashing another stack? Oh, I'm yep. sorry. Yeah, he the hit camp. Matthew with it. Mikoto in trouble, has a good ship. I don't think he's gonna make it, but um, maybe he buys some time. Let's see how tanky Mikoto is. Now he's going down. Oh. He was trying to kill Matthew. If he got one more right click mm. off with Tybringer, he would have killed Matthew on Willow there, but couldn't find the time to get the attack off. Nice yeah. kill for IAP. Anyway, space create for Gabby. He's fully farming at the bottom lane against Ed Scott. Uh, now he's leading on the network 3.4k. Uh, man. I mean, once again, the Mothling has an easy farm. And it's the card yeah. hero that scale very fast in mid game. Yeah, and uh, if you give him some easy space to farm, and he gonna Dyer's reply you with a chop gun. Yep. The weakness for IAP seems to be their offlane. Escod not farming well again. Uh, yeah. um, not all to blame him. Like, the Dark Willow kind of got bullied out of the lane and then went to help elsewhere. Dark Willow TP'd mid, refilled the bottle, was doing some stacking, so it feels like... They're Dyer's just not even top trying top to win this top. off lane. They're just trying to use their Dyer's four position to help the other lanes. It's mob as well. I mean, my yeah, my being forced out of the lane by the uh, night time. Oh, that. <laughs> even, <laughs> even farming right. at an NC, being far in Mikoto and doing some long range splashing, it's just almost half HP. Yep. Meanwhile, Tinker just farming Ancients using the, the smoke trick. One of the things that Tinker can do, you smoke up and you can kill Ancient stacks with laser without aggroing mm. it, so... Just annoying Tinker things. <laughs> oh my god. For now, it's the, for now it's the slow game, but I think that will change with Talon soon, because they've got Night Stalker. Although it is going to be daytime, they're still going to have Dark Ascension. It does seem like KP wants to put pressure up top. Yeah. But maybe down bottom is where the kill will happen. Oh, Kimo being found at the uh, side forest. Fly is still trying to do the strict side for Arena. Walking back to the beam kill on top, bottom kill on tower. Fly is still there. And uh, he was stabbed by the wall. Yep. Wall ends up finishing him off. Hmm. He's there just to keep Gabby alive and help Gabby farm, which he's succeeded in doing. Kunka, level 8, and now he's on smoke. Two guys on smoke for Team Talent Esports. They got yeah. scan now. Yeah. I think it's more like a time management game right now, that this side got a better time management. Uh, well, you can just go around and gang people, but um, you gotta realize that in the other lanes, people are um, farming non-stop. And oh, a KP on the tree top, yeah. Oh my god. That was so cool. He just cool. stood in the tree, so the second he popped his ultimate, he could silence. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, and perfect timing. 
Willow can't use Shadow Realm, man. The second the knight was popped, he turns on the silence and easy kill. But now he may pay for this. It's going to be daytime as his Dark Ascension ends. Yeah, half HP already. KP inside of the free line. He's now level 9. He dodged out a split shot. Yona trying to find him, but he couldn't. KP just teleport away. Yeah, they went too early. I think if they were a bit more patient, they can get that kill. But they needed the Dark Ascension to end. They just mistime it. Well, surprisingly, he, he farmed the level so well for KP. Nine and a half already for the Night Stalker. This is super scary. Especially Night Stalker. Yeah, it's, and Night Stalker, we're in a game where if he gets BKB and then I would imagine Blink Dagger afterwards, but there's other items he can consider. Illusion. He can just really ruin this Drow and Tinker's life mm. in this game. Yeah. Draw Ranger, Mar. I can, I, I can feel him that he doesn't have like a safe feeling in his heart right now. That you know, um, I'm, yeah, I know I'm shooting the creep, but I don't know when they're gonna just come out. <laughs> All these kind of feeling, man. Radiance bottom tower. Oh, I admit, I'm not sure. He went for a rolling thunder. I think he got away though. I. Structures uh, I feel like right now the big difference Dyer's between two sides tower. is Thunder the uh, control of the area. Um, Tylon mm. is bought, uh, got a yep. deep observer ward inside the dire NC, attack. and um, however, they are about to lose the first tower, which is the bottom kill on the tower. Good one for Team IAP. They need more towers if they want to gain Radiant control of the area attack. back, especially for the mid tier one. Yep. Yeah, I think taking that tower bottom is something that should have happened sooner. Dyer's whereas, you, mm. as we saw earlier, Talon took the top tower, the offlane tower, much faster. And so they've been farming. They're in the enemy jungle farming it a lot better. And just winning the economy battle because of it. All right, seems to be a fight here. Kimo was hit by the core ship. The and then no, no, down. <laughs> Meanwhile, IAP I trying to strike back on top lane. Uh, lock somebody down. Yes. E oh! Terrorize and also finish it off with the Magic Missile. Nicely done. They knew Rolling Thunder was on cooldown from mid lane, so they make that play. True. But hey, but mid lane look at that. says you leave mid lane, I take the mid tier 1 tower. Oh man, that is, that is a big tower, bro. But hey, Mikoto, down somewhere. And a bomb lane, a good one by Escort jumping in with Arena of Blood. And uh, with the damage from Matthew and Mark. He's uh, kind of just been a farming conquer so far. Um, obviously, when BKB comes out, his game changes a lot, but not really the active Makoto that perhaps we're used to seeing when he's playing so many of his other like kind of signature heroes. Just Three man, I, mean, I, I think. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, this is partly why maybe Talon have not looked so good. It's just figuring out how to play around Makoto. Where some of Makoto's past teams that Radiant's were successful, like he was the most aggressive mid laner in SCA, I thought. And it feels like Fly and the way Talon plays a team is a bit slower, which maybe doesn't suit Makoto as much. All right, and they're trying to find that mob going in quite fast. So he's on the airplane for Night Stalker. Krungbin, he going in and hide. Oh the man, rolling did. thunder from like from home or something. And now they're trying to Who catch did? that mob right in front of mid tier three tower. Maybe it's a little bit too deep, they need to retreat. So many things happen, but the only one that is hide. Killing spree for Yona. Mm. Pinker is coming. Great response. And I think that's kind of the talent where they're feeling like we're playing too passive. Let's go make some kills happen. And the Drow is just in such a good position. The second he sees him, he uses the Tumblr's toy, a 300 unit ah, four stop. Yeah. Like, it's like a mini four stop. And then he silences to gust him away. So. Just the positioning there, it's like he was ready for that gank and great play from IAP to not die and also get a kill. Yeah, get a kill and maybe get a mid tier one tower as well. That is going to be the big tower. But at the same time, Tylon need to do what it takes to defend this one. Here we go, X the spot, but still no initiation. They started off by that fly from the side lane first. Started off with a split siphon and KP moving in with a silence and a circle. It's gone. Setting up finally on Arena of Blood and throw a lot of spell inside, including Terrorize. Terrorize? Oh no, but not doing a little bit of damage over there. It becoming IAP who lost the first blood. And Yona. Oh, he's got Rolling Thunder. Oh man. Hyde's trying to get away from the Death Prophet. 
but he's so low. I think he's gonna be nah. fine there. But the fight is just not, not over yet. Uh, Kimo is so low right there. The rest of Team Atalo needs to just retreat. Trying to find some yeah. tree to hide behind. Whew. Crazy fight there. Yeah. I, in the end, I think Dyer's Talon top come top out top on top because top Morphling's top. farming. That's kind of what is the difference between the two teams in that fight was... I mean, also they got a kill on the Mars, but just the fact that Morphling isn't at the fight and he's just off elsewhere, getting a lot of items, a lot of levels, that's a problem. Um, whereas Drought, a full two levels behind, three levels behind the Morphling, so about to be two, but Marv hasn't played it badly. You just can't do what, can't do what Morphling does, but um, Gabby is going to get online with this Ethereal Blade, and then suddenly that's going to be a big problem. And I really like the old, old school Dota 1 Morphling item build with the power trade and go straight for mm -hmm. the Mentor style. With this kind of going Mentor style first, he would be so strong in the uh, mid game team fight. He, he can operate right now. He kind of, he didn't even have to farm anymore. He's now strong. But um, we'll, we'll see where Where's he's going to come out of the curve. And here we go with the X Mounters for Torrent and also the first ship. They're aiming for Escort. Escort, the first one who brought down. Next one is going to be Kimo for sure. Killing spree already for KP. Marching forward, trying to take Dynamite Tier 2, definitely. But maybe trying to go inside of the uh, Dire NC, placing some deep Obsidian Ward would be a good idea. Or maybe just fall back to a Roshan pick. Got the double damage in. This is kind of why Talon will be playing it passively, because they're about to get super strong. They're going to have Aegis now and double BKB. Makoto oh. just finished his, and KP is a few hundred gold away. So with BKBs, Tinker, Dark Willow, Mars, all these heroes are entirely reliant on their spell damage and their disables, which they just can't do anything with these BKBs. I mean, just when we thought that, oh, IAP doing such a great job in the uh, second game, but how come we, we were this way? I mean... They are not losing in the uh, laning fate that much, but um, I I is it why? I I is it the yeah. time management or? Um, I think they're just being outfarmed a bit. Um, their map management hasn't been as good, maybe. Um, and also, again, like their offlane with the Mars didn't go that well, but Escort turned it around with some blink plays, but he's still only been involved in two kills. Makoto BKB, he got a bit scared. Yeah, X minus spot at the far end. Uh, Kimo, here we go with the rubber man. But hey, Gabby moving in. This is actually the first time he joined a big team fight. And that is the first kill instantly. We're rolling Thunder, trying to catch the back line. Matthew being hit one time. That's fine. Gabby now level 14, carrying an Aegis. Okay, I think they're just going to go back and push top lane. Oh, you want to go too far forward. Dark oh. Willow in some trouble here. I think they're gonna get one more from the Dark Willow. Yep, they got it. Matthew down. And maybe one more. It seems to be a big mistake. This one for IAP. That doesn't have to lose like two lives over there. And it's a double kill for Gabby. Yeah, a little bit sloppy. Just running in one by one. And it's yeah. not done. Marb, he's got to blink on this drow, but it's on cooldown. And KP's found him. Has Wait. blink in two seconds. Radiance what is going KP on around here, man? Helped him. A series of mistakes can actually change the time of the game. I mean, they were far behind, but this could be the last nail on the coffin. Yeah, that's those are the kills which, like you say, they're kind of nail in the coffin, not just from like a, they make you further behind, but like mentally you feel like, man, we're making so many mistakes. Like it feels bad when you're getting picked off one by one. It's not like you took a team fight that you wanted to take and things didn't go your way. It's like your opponents are just like, outplaying you when you're getting picked off like this. Man, Gabby is going to be unstoppable right now. He got 2.6k in the pocket and all the way to the shotgun. Um, Ages of Immortal two and a half minutes in. They're ready for the next fight, which is they're going to push the mid tier to tower. And I don't think uh, IAP could defend that. But hey, they will try. Level 10 on uh, March, maybe combine ar uh, arena of blood with the terrorize would be a great idea but hey it seems like being spotted for the not really good for the escort going into the rolling thunder the race of team IAP need to fall it back was hit by the first ship titanic is and his kp is on dominating oh my god I mean, what we're seeing here is, is talent just Radiant's using their vision and attack. outplaying them by yeah just initiating whoever initiates first has the edge like mars if he ever gets caught by an X before he uses his spells, he kind of just dies, as we saw, until he has BKB. Oh no! Right in the front of the mid tier tower, he got caught. Keep him down real quick. And Gabby, straight oh, to the tower. Matthew. 
Oh my goodness, and the next here. kill is going to be massive too. Trying to buy some time for Rion. That would be uh, 4 or 5, second more. Yep. He goes down as well. Like, the, I think the key to this game is just getting the better initiation. Like, if Mars goes in, catches a couple heroes in the arena with a spear, the fight can go well for IAP. The problem is, it's Talon who are getting the initiation, whether it's Pengalier with the Rolling Thunder Blink Dagger or Kanka with the X into Torrent yeah. Boat. Like, every single fight, it's Talon who are getting the initiation. Bounty. Yeah, slightly. Um, I, I, think, I think the initiation like uh, of Team Talon is a little bit crisp. Uh, than team IAP, maybe because of their skill are quite easy to play with the X-Miner spotted for it. And now it's God still trying to find a way to turn on its arena of blood, but next thing he know, he died already. And his teammates now in danger in front of their own mid tier to tower. X-Miner for Torrent is gonna hit that massive, Matthew dropping quite low. He needs to just walk away We call the turn of the BKB because he knows that the damage is going to come from that Tinker in the tree line. Keep on shooting the laser and also the missile. Oh my goodness. And Gabby having the Dark Willow to morph into is just so nice. Such a good target for, for Gabby's morphling. Man, 15 to 6 game score. Any way back for Team IAP, I'm asking you. Um, It's going to come from winning some team fights. Like, they've got crazy magic damage. They need to for, like, force out BKBs and kind of. Wait, make Talon waste the BKB um, on their heroes, Radiant's or catch them before they use attack. BKBs. Like the BKBs are the problem, so it's it's how they play around Talon's BKB. So Mars, if you can yeah. somehow have a way to force a BKB and then still catch them in a good arena, they can still win team fight. Tinker's damage Radiant output with an Ag Scepter now is very formidable. Yeah. And look at the uh, Gappy item build. With this far, back, uh, far ahead in the game, he still want to go for the BKB. He really knows that he, he wants to win this game so much. Yeah. Playing it safe. And it's like he's probably looked at his two teammates who bought BKB and realized how easy these fights are when they have BKBs. Yeah, these like, guys. I don't think <laughs> Mikoto hasn't died since buying this BKB. Both his deaths came earlier in the game. And he knows, with a Blink Dagger now as well, he can just jump in and kill everyone with a BKB. Oh no, it's gone. It is a fight of the off lane there, but it seems like it's got being found. Oh, I'm sorry, by Hai, uh, yeah. And also KT. No silence. And I don't think he can make it. Ah, clear sailing. He wants to kill. <laughs> JP will take it. Kodo mid is Radiant trying to find someone to go standing. on, but it doesn't look like he'll get a chance. Even now, Gabby's like not afraid to farm down bottom. He knows like they're maybe hunting for him. Ooh. That the um, Gabby with the Edrial Blade, man, he's gonna hit with a strong, strong shotgun. Marfling. KP on the Night Stalker. Ooh. Found Ogre. Yeah. Stumble for KP. Man, what a fire oh, chicken no. right Arb. there! Fire chicken! Oh, I know. <laughs> Even faster than here, KFC Fire's delivery here in Thailand. Attack. And I hate gonna go. Oh, in. they got him! They had the ward on the high ground. Oh no. Oh my Poor God. Drow. Marv thought he was safe to TP out, but the ward gave vision. One by one, they all fall down like Humpty Dumpty. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Having a bit of. Sometimes you gotta play with your food, you know, before yeah. you eat it. Uh, my thanks will come later. When my God! Expected. Since when? That optional ward is so unexpected. Yeah, getting it. Usually that comes like in the late. It's the Tinker Ward for like later in the game. Oh yeah. Not just early. It's still very early to have it. Radiance top tower is under attack. All right. But, uh, um, big, big lead now. Yeah. It, it, it is so hard to come back at this stage of the game. I mean, um, consider that Marvling is so fast. <laughs> And now setting up, oh no, Arena of Blood made a mistake, but he might die in his own arena right there. Oh, yeah. luckily the timing of the ghost ship and x man spot torrent was wrong. But hey, Fly moving in with the um, Exorcism. And Great play from Morph. Yeah. That was fun. The Mars thought he had him in the arena, but he, he waved in and then had the Blink Dagger to get out. So it's just, you know, having double mobility, catching Escort perhaps by surprise. And Talon are just having a, they're having a lot of fun in this game, it feels like. Alright. Alright.
Alright, uh, taking that a bit to tower without any resistance from the IAP side. It just is not a good sign. Ma they missed their spells though. They have to run away here. Blink Decker, more fleet. Okay. Yeah. Seems like yeah. they get near. Oh, Blink Decker drought too. Yeah. Everyone going for these blinks. Radiance top Blink BKB. All good. Yeah. Oh wait. Shouldn't be able to die there. Tinker down bottom. Makoto's hunting. Uh, high die. Yep. Got him with the X. I know I should respect the dead. Nice one. Doesn't that boat though? You have to earn it. Keep going, I think. They got a chance to win this team fight. But hey, Mikoto just killed uh, yeah. Fiona at the bottom lane. But hey, let's take a look at the team fight in the middle lane first. Bramble Maze and just more like a retreat Bramble Maze right there. The rest of team IAP is trying to run back home. Oh, Mar. But it seems like the most important hero cannot do so. Kibo. Another chicken. Yeah. Nice KP's not even going for the ogre. He knows Gabby can do it himself. Yeah, got him, got, got him, got him. Hey. Oh, okay. This is beer. He's gonna have to work for it. Oh wait, now being blocked by creep. Yeah, Kimo. that's interesting. <laughs> I, I think Kimo might leave. Okay. He's no TP, unfortunately. Uh, you know the game, when you click Kimo and ogre, you know the game's going badly when you see the TP scrolls, when you have seven TPs. <laughs> Oops, oh. I'm sorry. Dark Willow. I'm telling you to click things when this kill's happening, but yeah, oh. Kimo having a rough one. Seven TP scrolls. Just, and yeah. Dark Willow. Oh, he's only got three TPs. Man, once again, you, you take a look at the killing score 24 7. This is not really good. It, it, it's getting more like um, in, the, in the first game. Yeah. It's uh, starting to get a bit ugly. This game looking more one-sided with a almost 20,000 gold lead. I don't think there's a whole lot IAP can do anymore. Yep. Hope that, just stay on the high ground and hope that Talon um, overextend and make like the, you know, the throws, quote unquote. But so far Talon, they're playing very disciplined. They're doing like the safe gaming, going for Roshan, not taking any risks. All right, All right. yeah. Things go fine here. Uh, Alan inside the road time. Hit. Hit the agents. Step lively now. You're at Oof. Man, this one. It's going to be a big, big fight. Actually, the biggest fight in the game for sure, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see who's going to initiate where... first. Um, I think it's going to be Talon because X Mount spot is so effective. Now you see that Marv. Marv. They're coming from behind. Oh, Gabby jumping in. Soccer. And now you see that Kimo. Easy kill on Kimo for sure. Return on BKB. Let's take a look at the fire around here on the right hand side of the map. And Marv, the key heroes of Team IAB going down. But however, Escort jumping in with Arena of Blood. Where is the follow up damage? I am looking for Tinker, but Yona is so far away from the fight. So they kind of lag from the homing missile damage and also the laser. Kimo bought back, but he's going to find himself quickly in the grave again. Oh, dear. Everything oh, that dear could, indeed. <laughs> everything that could go wrong goes wrong to, for Team yeah. IAP. The, when they smoked in, the drow instantly blinked away from the smoke and blinked on top of Night Stalker. Oh, God. Like melee rain. It was like. Yeah. Hello there. Of course, you probably like your pants. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Bad place to be. As God, well, finding out that Gabby is a beast as well. Good nine minutes in, and now striking. Start striking on the barracks. You think they want to they, they force himself in? Still got like three minutes. For the cool down yeah. time of uh, reclaim time of the ages. He might go so try life steal, although he doesn't actually have the life steal anymore. So we'll see. He gets some. Well, he gets a paladin sword. That's nice. Mm. Morphling gonna get X back. So yeah, the Kunkka allows him to keep pushing because everyone can just kind of TP back to base, buy some items, get pulled back in with the X. Defense oh, matrix. Kinga with an agony scepter. Matthew got caught. Now nah, he's dead. Gabby finish him off. Got life already from Gabby. Yep. Not much you can do, unfortunately, for IAP. Sit back and hope that you can defend high ground. Mm. But without a tier 3 tower, Double how are going to defend that one? Uh, it's tricky, but 
I guess you're just hoping the Tinker can keep spamming the lasers. Mm, yeah. And it doesn't even look like Definitely talent. They're going to play it safe. Like, Gabby, even with PKB Aegis, is just going to go bot go for the tier twos. Got to get the outer towers first, they say. Dyer are scanning. Oh, my. This is keep getting tower by tower. Game seems to be under control on every Dyer's aspect on, on team talent side. Right now, IAP kind of called the base. Once they come out the base, my mic got caught like this. Going in, turn the BKB. Nice talk. The BKB is everything. Yeah, oh, they have no God. answer. And the not BKB. a shot. <laughs> yeah. That'd All right. Be... He's going to be fine. He's going to back for FP full mana for the ages. And sending in the gold ship. A big shot in. And hit right in front of mid tier 4 tower. Next one going to be Tinker. He being so close. Tinker. And yep. Next one is going to be Mars. See the damage output from that Gabby. Shotgun people. The goddamn sheriff. Y'all welcome in this town. As Gabby, even using the Mars form to get some extra spears, some extra nukes. They take the Rex mid, but IAP still trying to defend for now. Without BKBs, it could be a little bit careful, but. Alan, dude, turn it by. Yeah, they're gonna go for round two. Gabby times his way for me and Spears oh, nice turning spear. turns to the mine and a great Spears pin it down to the three line. Morphling dropping quite low. low. Oh, he's dead. Jonah jumping over him and just shoot him with a laser and a missile. Okay, still got a light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> we have seen a lot of dice yeah. <laughs> in the past. Little yeah. tiny candle, maybe. It's not a you know full on light yet. <laughs> the candle, you know, it's trying to get some oxygen to stay alight, but, but at least you can light a cigarette with that. Yeah, <laughs> that's what guy <laughs> may need a smoke or two to, yeah. to chill after this, this game, but they're not out yet. Cute play from Gabby. I mean, you saw yeah. KP even tip him there because he he waved in and like at before you couldn't even see him turn into the mars he just instantly spears at the end of the waveform it was so smooth looked so nice but it can look cool but it also led to him dying so it was a you know style points not practicality points mm. well, unfortunately for that <laughs> morphling he thought it was safe his waveform into the tree line and then tinker was over there just easy slash um just laser on him Well, at this stage of the game, do you think going for an Eglim shot for Tinker is just gonna do any use? Having a match on the machine to just push the creep wave back? <laughs> uh, maybe if he's just, I guess, nothing else to buy. Oh, hold that big fight coming. Yeah, alright, all right. I mean, in the same step, once again, one, two, step by KP. One, two, one, two, we turned the BKB, but now he just needs to left the scene because his teammate is not coming in. There's no follow up damage. Big corner. Oh, one slash almost kill. Matthew down for the first one. S car finally falls. And um, next one is going to be Kimo being stopped from the teleportation by using the new scepter. Double kill for Mikoto. Monster kill for him. Yep. Talon just too strong. They want to wait for Roshan. They can. I'm not sure they're going to have to, although. Yeah, they have some creeps coming. They're just looking to die for kills. KP, he's in. Yeah. Man, what a play by KP in his two games in this series. Yep. Force I mean, the BKB. Yeah, with the BKBs and stuff. Six seconds in for the BKB. He make the every single bit out of the BKB. Yeah. Oh, Not cool. afraid to just use it and get yeah. it down to that low cooldown. Well. Radiance bottom Talon. Under it's a long Roshan respawn, so they're going to have to wait some time before they can go for Roshan, but... I think they're happy just to maybe chill. Wait, it's gonna be nighttime in 15 seconds, so nighttime is where they're gonna be damn near unstoppable. All right, 39 to 12 game score. Not um, a game score that we expected from the start. We thought this one is going to be close because IAP, yeah, their heroes are much, much better. But when it comes down to execution, it's just mm, a little bit confused from the start, I would say. Uh, the the laning, the lane seems to be good, not so many deads, but the yep. way that they farm, the time management is just not right. Every time yeah. that they, they they get some micro gangs, they spend like three or four guys, and the other lanes of Team Talon Esports keep farming nonstop. 
I mean, they were ahead on the kills early on. It was like they were oh, up yeah. six kills to two or three, but they were still losing on the gold. So mm. the the way they played and got out farmed in the lanes is the the bigger problem. And then after that, like they, they didn't make any big team good team fights. With the guy, the guy's going to the BKB and just run straight at that. No oh. way. I don't think I don't think Marvin's going to survive from that. He dropping so low, he's trying to do the Ameta style, but uh, he died right after. Next one. Great pick up on the Basher. KP saying, I'm going to be able to blink on you. And no, there's no BKB team keep, keeping away from me when I've got a Basher. And now he's got full Satanic. He is so farmed. Man, this is so hard for Team IAP. Mm. Do you know that in the um, in Bangkok, right? Uh, nearby my, my place, that's a bar called Black King Bar. I mean, really? Yeah, literally a bar. And w w the first thing that I see, I, the, the first moment that I see it was like, holy shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Is I it will try to, did nothing yeah. to do with that. Yeah, I, I think I think I'm going to take a picture with a sign and, and maybe post it yeah. on uh, some Twitter or something. Yeah. That's a good play. Hey, you gotta go. You not just take a picture. You gotta go into the bar. I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Having uh, some Negroni. That's a good cocktail. Problem. Yeah. You've got you've got good taste, my man. Yeah, sprint forward, yeah. Yep. Alright. Uh, 42 to 12 game score. Oh my god, such a big lead, 30k. Man, the uh, the, the winning Ooh. percentage is must be very low. But however, we gotta respect on the guy. IAP with a big smoke and trying to catch somebody off guard. A 5v1, maybe they got a chance. But Mikono is not that easy to take him down. He's a he's a hard target. Yeah. And they, they scouted Escort. He's the initiation of the Mars. But he has got BKB now. A lot easier for Mars with BKB. Alright, we'll see how they're going to initiate this one. Style Alan just waiting for the road turn. Yeah. Arena of Blood and then all other spells on top. My waters rise. Well, I right. don't find any initiation and not sure that this game can just go. Pa they need to take the fights to get killed. Their way to win is to get kills. So either they're going to be defending high ground against Aegis or need to make a move to get out. Agree. Back to four. All right. Um, the creep wave on top pushing in. And um, I think uh, Talon Esports is doing a pretty fine in controlling the area. They are not going to lose the, the area in the Dire NC. They are waiting for them. They know that one hero of Talon Esports are stronger than two heroes of Team IAP. So they can just uh, spread it out formation like that. Cover more area. And this Dyer's is such a hard thing for Team IAP to do a smoke. Because if uh, if Talon Esports keeps spreading out like that, the smoke will break so easy for Team IAP. You have Yep. Me. That's been a, a big issue for them, and they need a smoke now. Roche has respawned. I don't think they realized, but Fly was just Dyer's sitting in the pit waiting for it. Sunday. Gabby's gonna come back. Overwhelming blink, the strength blink on the the morph oh. blink. Oh. I think Gabby's just kind of having some fun with his build. Like it's not a total mean build, but they're not items he would get maybe if this game was closer. This is such a big Roshan, man. Agony Black King. Oh, jeez. Oh, Aghanim's morphling, yeah. Oh. Ooh, I can hear the thunderclap. Good job from Ogre. Glimmer TP. Morphling not gonna have room for detection. Is under attack. Oh, my Ming Blink. Radiant structures. Uh, but he can. Yeah. I think he's gonna go like full strength and blink in with this to stun yeah, people, maybe. Cool. Maybe that's the idea. Although he's right now he's full agi, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm yeah, curious yeah. if that's the play. Yeah, we'll see. Gabby. Is under attack. Doesn't look like it. He's sitting on full agi. He wants to be at a. Well, he hasn't got the E blade in his inventory, so no? I don't know what he's doing. Mm. This is interesting. Radiant's bottom tower. But I just love the sound of the old memory blink, man. It's it's so satisfying. Um. Here we go. I think that, that's what I'm talking about. Um, that sound, though. And here we go. And it's a fight uh, with the uh, Rolling Thunder. 
Yeah, slashing the second target now, which is Escort. Two die in a matter of around 10 seconds. And right now, the gate inside of the base of Team IAP are wide open. Whoever has to buy that needs to be in right now. Turn on the time rise and tear it up in the arena of blood on the BKB by the fly. He's ready to go. Call to toe fight. And Mikado is just moving in toward the fountain. I think they're gonna die for sure. But we'll see another overwhelming blink, but I can't see where they are. Here we go, they profit about to go down. Now finally they kill that Mikolo. Godlike swing had ended. Gabby killed the tower. And maybe they might have to play carefully right here if they don't want to let the victory slip away. Yeah, Tinker with the Hex. That's how they killed Makoto there. He couldn't get the cheese off because of the Hex there. Nice job disabling him and... They hold the high ground. It's only mid racks that's down. Uh, there is still an Aegis and Cheese. That's I've got crazy. to imagine Talon. They're going to be like, they're ready for round two as soon as Makoto's back. But that's a good defense from, from IAP. But it costs I mean, a lot of buybacks. How, how you even Ooh. defense against like 37k ahead? Yeah. That's, that's uh, a miracle. The way they did it, I get they they turned it instead of being a five v five. They said let's make this like an eight v five. They used three buybacks. So when you're defending high ground and have buybacks, that's that's how you defend against these crazy gold leads. But oh, next time around, they won't have these buybacks uh, except maybe two of their heroes. Like I think yeah, Tinker will have. So maybe these they can defend again with these buybacks. One thing that they, I I think Team maybe IAP is so them. unlucky today is every time that they uh, they try to do some crucial smoke gank, they cannot find a target. And, and it's not like Talon got some popular ward to spot it out. It, it's just that they are different plays. But hey, look at this one first. Turn the big heavy, Gabby chance to get into that Teemo. Teemo is trying to stay alive the Glimmer Cake. Yeah. And uh, Gabby kill Teemo. KP oh. slash at mob down. No buyback from the two. Though. Yeah, KP level 26. So his Dark Ascension cooldown now getting incredibly low. Almost has a Moon Shard. Oh, with a Witch Bane as well. He is so farm. Okay. KP's the real carry. I think so. Just flies out of the arena like, yeah, your Don't arena, what, what's this thing do? Yeah. Doesn't seem to be working, Mars. Yeah. Might want to get that one looked at in the workshop. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> He's flying very fast. I think I am in love with all the fast movement speed heroes. Um, I know myself that I kind of hate all the slow heroes. So I kind of avoid it. You need to play the, the Spirit Break. You saw Collapse on Spirit Break here, and that, that's what you want to play. Yes, that's true. <laughs> a racing so you got, you got, you got the, fa the fast cars. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to race. You don't want to yeah. sit back. Yeah. Oh my dear. Uh, what a hard game for Team IAP. I mean, Gabby is out of control, especially on KP. And the race of the components of Team Talon Esports are working very fine. Yep. They're just gonna get the Mega Creeps. And now it's night time again. KP's ready to jump in on Night Stalker. I think this might be the last team fight though. KP's on a tree line and trying to find a way to the fountain. He, he sees everything. With the Radiant, with the Moon Shark, he gets even more Ooh. night vision. So his My night God. vision, he sees in the fountain from where he is. He can see the fountain wow. on the Radiant Vision. It's crazy. Well, I, I wish I could be like that. <laughs> I have a little bit of short sighted, the doctor say. <laughs> Gold from my chest. You get that LASIK. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. I, I don't know. Man. I clicked Night Soap. Does he even have eyes? Like, he's got little glowing red dots there. Yeah. All right. Four guys smoke. I mean, if you got caught this time, then you're done, man. You're done for. Yeah. It's Mega Creeps, but IAP do not want to GG out. 45k gold lead Mega Creeps, and they're saying, we'll fight till the end. Yes, turn on the BKB inside the base already. Draw Ranger B, the one who's being aimed. He turned on the BKB, he will be safe from the Rolling Thunder. Trying to fly his way back to the fountain, but he's not gonna make it only a few steps away from the fountain. He died right in front. Three down, no buyback. It's time for Team Talon Esports to take down the mid tier four towers, and maybe. Ripping the heart of Team IAP off, finishing this series with 2 0. How are they gonna defend on this one? Still no sign of DJ coming out. They still wanna fight. Waveform out of the base. Fight until the very end. AAP. Man, what a play. And gotta respect on that. What a spirit. 
This is Dota and witness me, says Gabby in the voice chat. The lines. They convince it, it was 45 minutes, but it was not like a real 45 minute game where it's close, nail biter. Talon with 55 kills to 14. They stomped them. I the you know, I'm impressed with how they played. It was solid Dota. Um I would say I'm impressed by IAP's ability to just play through for 45 minutes when they probably knew they were going to lose. Most teams would have GG'd out yeah. ages ago, but mm -hmm. hats off to them. Yeah, especially the, the I mean, the latest two or three team fights that they defend against 39k net worth lead. Man, that was impressive, the way that they do the positioning. I just wish that they, they could play better early games and, and fix a problem about the laning phase. I think they, they would be back, definitely, um, being a strong team in the Division 2 for sure. Um, well, but that is it for the match, man. Um, uh, one question, God. If you want to give the MVP to one player in this match, then yep. would be who? Ooh. I'm going to give it to... Hard, my fellow right? Australian, KP, Mar <laughs> MVP. <laughs> oh, you mean on the on which team on any team or? Mm -mm. No, I, I was saying hard, right? Hard to make decisions. Oh hard! Oh no, oh, hard! I thought you said Marb for Drow Ranger. <laughs> uh, I would say KP. You know, my my Australian boy. And two games in a row, the one lane they win the hardest was KP and Hyde's lane. Like they played the off lane so well, and KP on the Night Stalker this game was a lot of fun to watch. So, I'm biased, but I'll I'll choose KP. Yeah, uh, I, I I would go for Mikoto. I I, I feel like yeah, they he 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 pretty stable in terms of his performance and um and he's reliable. I think the the most important aspect of the mid player is reliable. That make sure that that you are not going at least not losing to your opponent and and I think that that make his teammates like, kind of comfortable with yeah. So um yeah. yeah. Anyway, it was a great performance by Team Talon Esports. Awesome, awesome. Let me take a look. I think we might have an interview. Yeah. By the way. Um, okay. I think we have. I think we have Fly. I see him in the channel. So let's let's not go to break just yet. Maybe. Okay. Just stay here, <laughs> everyone. Um, okay. Let me. Are, are you ready for me to bring him in? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll bring him in. Let's do it. Um... Hey, Fly, are you there? Hey, yeah. Can you hear me? I can. Cyclops, you got him? Hello. Yeah, I got him. Got him. Hello. Fly. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> Congratulations for your victory. It was um, it was a great one. Uh, both games. Pretty clean. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, you want to go first, Fox? Sure. Um, obviously, you guys had a maybe not the best start to the season, um, losing to the three top teams here. Um, I'm I'm curious to hear about what kind of where what your team's goals are for the rest of this season and where you see your team moving forward. Since uh, I imagine it's maybe a bit disappointing that you're probably not going to be making the move up to Division One for season two. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely. Um... Uh, disappointing for us, for sure. Uh, I think a lot of the circumstances revolving our losses were not ideal. Um, which, you know, part of it can, can sound like an excuse. The other part is also we didn't perform well, like, just as a team as a whole. Um, so I think all of us were, were definitely a little bummed out that we don't have a real chance anymore. But it doesn't mean that we're not going to try our best for the remaining games and show that we can still play really good Dota and use this time to improve together. So that is the plan. Um, and yeah, Division 2 in SCA is, is definitely hard. I think a lot of these teams that we played against, like Polaris and Nigma Galaxy and Ragdoll, are as good or even better than a lot of Division 1 teams, actually. <laughs> yeah. No, I would totally agree. I'd say, I think my follow-up question is about your kind of story coming over to SCA and um, playing in a new region. I'm For the longest time, you were... I mean, you were playing on OG for a long time, and then EG, um, you know, you're kind of like that, um, you know, stable presence on all of those teams. What's what's the challenge been like for you moving to a new region and basically playing on a, you know, a totally new team rather than being brought into an already established team like what happened with EG? Yeah, I think it is uh, definitely a new thing for me. I think communication-wise, it's 
it's quite different compared to the Western teams I've been on. Uh, just how people interact in day-to-day -day interactions and how we also talk in game. It's I'm still getting used to it and I'm also trying to kind of show them the other way of doing things like and trying to find a, a mesh between the west and and you know the east the style of communication um and also just play style wise i think there's a lot of habits that are being formed both in pubs and officials in sea which are quite different than the west it, it tends to be more chaotic as opposed <laughs> to like you know the dota that i come from which is like more like stable sometimes yeah. uh so trying to kind of bridge the gap between those two and finding a way that everybody can be happy. And it's obviously, it's been a challenge, uh, but it is a work in progress. Yeah, would you say you're trying to get them to play more in the Western style, or are you trying to adapt your role as captain more to the to the, the SEA style? Like, which way do you think you're going? Or is it just a meet in the middle kind of thing? So, I think there's a, there isn't exactly an optimal answer to this, because I think in the end, playing good Dota and comfortable Dota for what your players are good at is the most important thing. So it, it is meshing the two. It's just that I think there are situations, uh, especially in SEA, where people needlessly give their advantage away. And that's something I want to avoid, aka throwing. <laughs> so that's something that, that I want to work on um, mainly. And then everything else, you know, like I, I do think the players on the team are very talented. Great. Okay. Uh, did you have any questions, Cyclops? Yeah, I got I got only one question. Um, in in the previous match against Ragdoll, that you you I I saw that match and it was a really high quality game, but um, unfortunately that you lost that one. Um, what did you uh, tell the players as a captain after that, and 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 what did you fix? You you get in, into this such an important series against Team IAP, you know that it's not going to be easy, but you play superb today, so. Uh, what what did change after you lost Ragdoll? I think so. Against Ragdoll, um, the first game we had was was very intense, very close, and I think we were in a good position to win that game. So after that game, I also told all the guys here that we we can play really well and we can be in an advantageous position, and we just have to make sure like we use it well and then we continue on that momentum that we built. So. That's something that we're we're working on. So like after our losses, we went over the games together, and uh, we could clearly see that we had a lot of openings to win that game one. We just have to capitalize on it and be more ready as a team, because one of the issues we've had is that we've had some disconnect um, in terms of like our mid game. So some people are looking to fight, some people aren't, and then we're not communicating it properly. So we end up kind of not looking like one unit and that's how most of our losses have been really and so that's something we really focused on today like when when we're ready to fight make sure we fight together and make sure we talk about it to each other so it, it definitely showed this game but you know it's something I, I hope to keep improving that's perfect thank you thank you very much got you got any uh last fun question i i've seen you posting about food are you, are you enjoying the sea food huh. oh man the food is amazing what can i say the Good. Thai food has been insanely good. Like, I, I didn't know how good Thai food was before coming here. So, it's been awesome. Well, nice. as a Thai guy, man, that's that was so honored. Yeah, and uh, we, we, we should go out sometime and bring you some good Thai foods around, uh, around the town, eh? Yeah, that sounds fun, man. I have a hole in my stomach from how spicy it is, but besides that, it's it's been delicious. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, man. Well, I... Thank you very much. That should be it for the interview. Ladies and gentlemen, fly. Well, thank you. Thank you. And I, I hope you have a um, good road ahead after in all the remaining games. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, guys. Take care. Yep. Bye. See you later. Ah, man, God. The captain itself talking to us. Uh, in, uh, that, and that's the first series of the day. Do you expect that the uh, more excitement for the next series, God? I'm excited. We've got, um, I think, Boom Esports coming up. But it was great to hear from Fly, to hear, obviously, this season, this first winter tour has been disappointing for them. Um, yeah. You form a team with these players, they would expect to uh, make it into Division 1 for the next tour. But uh, good to hear that, you know, him talk about the issues they've faced and that they seem to be, um, you know, figuring out solutions and a way to 
bridge this the SEA style meets the you know the mm, Western yeah. style, the chaos of SEA and the maybe the stable structure of um, the Western door, particularly EG. I think EG is a team that when Fly was a captain, um, they were very stable with their drafts, with their play. It was always mm -hmm. let's play safe, let's farm for late game. Um, so it seems like he's trying to find a way to make everyone happy. Yeah, I think once it's finished, it's going to be a very interesting recipe. Um, eat meets, uh, east meets west. Good. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for match number one. We still have one more match. And um, we're going to take a break. Uh, it should be, should not be a long break. It should be 20 or uh, 30 minutes in. And we'll be right back for the next match.